All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. And shockingly, the news that we were going to get an announcement from Mike Waddell on a live stream by Bailey Bonillo was not just a rumor. It was not just clickbait. Shockingly, Mike Waddell actually showed his face and spoke on this whatnot stream that Bailey hosted. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you the clip of what Mike said, and then we'll talk about it a little bit here. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, guys. Um, How we doing, man? Not bad. Thanks for having me on. Um, so, yeah, I apologize for the lack of communication over the past three months. Um, I was told not to communicate. Um, when I left the company three months ago, I was told that it was going to be going through a bankruptcy process um, through which uh, things would be liquidated and creditors would be paid back via that liquidation. Clearly, that hasn't happened. Um, and we are getting reports of product being dumped that shouldn't be dumped. We are getting reports of unreleased product somehow showing up at big box without that money uh, showing up in the proper bank accounts. Um, and we are getting reports of eBay sales of grails and things that were never released to the public. And none of that money, as far as I know, is going to creditors, to people who put in pre-orders to companies that uh, had money that, or, or, you know, did business with us and never, you know, got paid for, for certain services or products or whatever. Typically, in a bankruptcy process, things are liquidated and uh, these creditors are paid back to the extent that they can be. Again, clearly that hasn't been happening. So I, I'm stepping in and I'm going to put an end to all that. And at the very least, uh, we're going to get as many creditors paid back as possible. Um, and failing that, you know, failing the ability to bring MetaZoo's debt down to zero and keeping MetaZoo open then we're sure as hell we're going to file properly and legally for bankruptcy and make sure that this is done properly through the courts. Um, I'm going to force the issue because three months have gone by, nothing's happened, and this is ridiculous. And this could have been a really easy thing. Um, and I'm putting a stop to it. So that's all I have to say. Uh, I know that Bailey has other things to say. Um, feel free to, to stay and, and hear him talk. Um, Bailey, I'll, I'll leave the rest to you, man. Awesome, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Let me see here. I don't know how to exit out of the thing, so you have to get me off. I got you. So, essentially, kind of interesting. My, it, you know, when I heard that this was going to happen, I kind of felt like Mike was going to come on and just pass the blame. And in a way, that's still what I feel happened here so mike essentially says that when he left he was told that the company was going into bankruptcy and creditors were going to be paid back and you know whatever was sold was going to be liquidated so that those creditors could get paid back and mike was saying they're seeing you know product released that's not supposed to be released um grail cards being sold that no one else had access to then he even cited the dumpster picture the video that i made that they saw that product was being thrown away at golden distribution through that picture that I posted. So it looks like Mike, at least to some extent is telling the truth because if they found out that they're dumping product, if Mike find out, if, if Mike found out that they're dumping product through my video, then he really must be out of the loop. Now, the reason he gave for not giving us any updates for three months was that he was told not to say anything, but I guess the catalyst for him coming on this stream was seeing, I guess, product being sold that shouldn't be sold. No one has been paid back. The bankruptcy hasn't been filed. I guess he's gotten no updates. They're seeing this product get dumped. And I guess the big part of Mike's little speech here was that he's going to be stepping in to fix all this and make sure that the bankruptcy happens and people get paid back and you know whatever's supposed to happen with the product being sold actually happens so that the creditors can get paid back. Um, I don't really know what to make of it. I feel like this this stream left more questions than answers because if Mike was removed or he's gone, I don't understand how he's going to be able to come back and take over and fix everything. And also, 
we got to we also kind of got to take all this with a grain of salt because Mike is also the same person that posted the I'm sorry letter at the end of 2023 saying, you know, they're going to turn things around and try to make everything right. And then just weeks later, he posted another letter saying they're closing the company. So the exact opposite of what he had just said weeks prior. So it's kind of hard to take Mike at his word. But because so few of us actually know the actual internal structure of MetaZoo, it's hard to say what's true and what's not. Because the way they made it sound on this whatnot stream was that Mike was just kind of in this creative managerial role and didn't have much to do with you know, the distribution side of things, which was golden, the actual physical product side of things, um, the actual financials of the company. At least that's the way they made it sound in this stream. And we, we don't know that that's not true, but what we do know is it's hard to take Mike at his word. And again, I feel like it leaves us with more questions than answers because just a couple of days ago, this same guy, Bailey said that Mike was saying the company's going to be sold and MetaZoo's coming back which is kind of the exact opposite of what Mike just said in this stream. So if that was true, that Mike had said that to Bailey, it sounds like he's already going back on what he said to Bailey because now he's saying he wants to step in and make sure the company files for bankruptcy properly and that people get paid back, which is not the same as saying the company is going to be sold and is going to come back. So again, just more questions than answers with this whole thing. Honestly, I'm shocked that Mike actually showed up and spoke on this stream. I, you know, people have a lot of negative things to say about Mike, myself included. Um, I think he gets a little credit for actually showing his face. Everyone's saying, you know, he took the money and ran. He's never going to show his face again. So I think, you know, as much as I don't want to believe anything that Mike says and as much ill will as I think a lot of us have because he owes a lot of us money. A lot of us have pre-orders that run fulfilled, myself included. A lot of us, you know, whether it's, you know, pre-order product, revive boards, a lot of people are owed money. A lot of people are owed product. A lot of people are upset with the way the company was managed. A lot of people are upset with the way that it went down in the end. And I think a lot of people are pissed about the lack of communication. But the fact that Mike did show his face to me would suggest that to an extent something is happening that he's not okay with. And I think he would only show his face and speak about it if there really is something wrong being done that he's not responsible for. As much as I feel like this was kind of shifting the blame because Mike is the one that hired these people. Mike is the one that started the company. Mike is the one that announced the closure of the company. Um, and I think a lot of the direction of the company was Mike's responsibility, but to an extent, I thought he'd never show his face again. And I think the fact that he did here, um, would suggest to me that whatever's going on is something that's not supposed to be going on and something sketchy is happening. That's not supposed to be happening. And I, again, I don't know how, if he's gone, he's going to be able to step back in and fix these things or what exactly is going to happen. But I think we can all agree the three months of no information is weird. The lack of a bankruptcy filing is weird. If that was supposed to happen, which is what Mike is saying, the product being leaked and sold on various eBay accounts is weird. Max TCG's account, weird. Um, the dumping of MetaZoo product, weird. So it's, it definitely seems like something's going on. And I just want to say, I've heard like, I would say 20 different stories of what's happening with MetaZoo, all from people, you know, from people that used to work there, from people that used to be like in positions of power at the company, from people that are still closely affiliated with the company, from people like Bailey, from people like Prince MetaZoo. I've heard all, I've heard 20 different versions of who's buying the company. It's still being sold. It's in the process of being sold. They owe money to different companies and the, the companies that they owe money to are going to pick up the IP. Bandai is going to buy it. The distributor for Sanrio UCC is a potential buyer. I've heard 20 different stories. So at least in the last three months, this is the first story that we've got that has came straight from the horse's mouth, Mike. And again, we got to take it with a massive grain of salt because of a lot of the things that Mike has said in the past, but this is the first thing that has came straight from Mike. Um, so I think it does hold a little bit of weight. The fact that he actually showed his face to say this. So it gives us something, 
but it still gives us a shitload of questions. So I don't really know what else to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm still shocked that Mike actually showed up for this stream. So shout out to Mike. Well, I don't want to say shout out to Mike, but shout out to Bailey for actually delivering on what he said he was going to do. I was very not optimistic that when I joined that whatnot stream, we'd see Mike Waddell speak. And like right away in the first minute of that stream or so, Mike comes on and speaks and, and Bailey did exactly what he said he was going to do. So I think that also lends some credibility to a lot of what Bailey has said over the past couple of months, all the things that he says Mike has told him. He just proved here that he is in contact with Mike. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Um, very interesting day for MetaZoo. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.